Our question is in the industrial method of preparation of hydrogen by Bosch process. So we are talking about Bosch process. Give balanced equation for the first two main steps in the production of hydrogen. So here we have to write two main reactions. Then the reason for use of addition of promoter along with the catalyst in final step. And the next question is the name of the solution which absorbs the unreacted carbon monoxide. If you have any doubt regarding the Bosch process of manufacturing hydrogen, then please watch my video based on Bosch process and then come back to this question. So first question is balanced equation for first two main steps in production of hydrogen. So here our reaction, the first reaction is when coke is reacting with the steam. Now this is water at the temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius. We will get carbon monoxide plus hydrogen mixture and it is known as water gas. Now these two are in a combined state. I have received many comments saying that once we are getting the hydrogen at this step, why can't we take that hydrogen? This is not a molecular hydrogen. This is not in a free state. It is combined with the CO and it is this combination that CO plus H2 is known as water gas and hydrogen is not free in this step. And minus delta means this reaction is endothermic reaction which will absorb the heat in this step. So this is endothermic reaction as we can see minus delta is here and this reaction happens at 1000 degrees Celsius. Now our second step. In this again we are taking that mixture of water gas and some excess steam we are taking. This reaction we are performing at 450 degrees Celsius along with the catalyst that is iron oxide. This Fe2O3 is iron 3 oxide. Iron 3 oxide is a catalyst and in the presence of catalyst and 450 degrees Celsius, we will get carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas and some heat will be liberated out. So this reaction is exothermic reaction. So to start the process, we have to give heat, but at the end of the reaction, we will get some heat liberated out. So that's why this is exothermic process. Whatever heat we are giving, more than that we are getting at the end. So that's why it is exothermic process. Now along with Fe2O3, iron 3 oxide, we are also adding chromic oxide and that is promoter. So chromic oxide is Cr2O3. We are adding this as a promoter. Promoter will enhance the efficiency of catalyst. So catalyst efficiency will increase and it will perform better in the presence of chromic oxide. Question B. The reason for use of addition of promoter to the catalyst in the final step. Our catalyst is iron 3 oxide and along with that we are adding promoter. Now our promoter is chromic oxide so it is Cr2O3. It is chromic oxide and we are adding this to enhance the efficiency of catalyst. So catalyst will perform better in presence of chromic oxide. That's why we are adding promoter at the final step. Question C. Name the solution which absorbs the unreacted carbon monoxide. Now we have to remove carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide at the final step to get the pure hydrogen gas. So to remove carbon monoxide we are using ammoniacal cuprous chloride solution. Now cuprous chloride is CuCl where Cu's valency is plus 1. So that's why Cu, Cl both are having 1-1 one, one valency via crisscross method we will get Cu, Cl that is cuprous chloride. When it is Cu, Cl2 it is copper chloride. This is along with the variable valency so it is plus 1 it is cuprous chloride. Now ammoniacal means we are adding some ammonia and so it is known as ammoniacal cuprous chloride. 